Okay, uh, this is a short video of the 11 acres, the new bit of land at the community. Um, and I'm just uh, showing it just to show some of the things that are happening here. You've got um, a lot of the wheat here that's volunteers from, from last year. But there's also some various other bits and pieces, a lot of um, thistles here, uh, south of the world, that sort of thing. And some planting. Um, I'm just going to show, zoom in on some of the planting. Here's um, one of the currants that was planted. Um, and I've planted uh, 17 carrot currants in all. Um, so I'm just going to zip round and, and show you some of these. There's another one there, there's a poppy there, a bit of mallow in flower. Um, and um, it's the 1st of July, there's a, another current there, look. So, um, so I want to uh, show some of the things that's ha been happening here. Um, you might notice that this uh, track that I'm walking on is a wood chip track, um, which we put down during the winter to another current there and another one there. Uh, the idea is the currents are placed at uh, five, five meter centers so that you can allow them to to grow big um, without the need to prune them. There's uh, a lot of mallow there, look you'll see in the distance there. Um, this um, sow thistle will probably reduce over the years naturally. Probably I won't have to worry about it too much. Um, there's the old uh, mayflower here, that, uh, which is really smells amazing. Lots of mallow in the corner there, look. And um, some poppies there. Uh, and there's, um, that's the track to the field, uh, to the next field. Um, which is, uh, we've not yet taken over yet. Um, but I want to, there's more currants there, look, there's, there's um, even got some currants ripening on there. Just a couple, it's the first year they've been planted, so don't expect too much from them. Um, but I want to show you uh, what we've got at the top uh, of the field. Um, this is just a little bit of planting we're putting here because we're trying to make sure that we um, don't use the, the middle of the, the field for and um, we can keep that for um, for camping and festivals and that sort of thing. So we keep that quite open but, um, not too much uh, planting there. Um, but we, what we will do is along this edge you can see in the distance there the the uh, e e edge of our land and the beginning of the field. At that edge we will um, have a hedge um, and we've allowed quite a lot of space so that we can have a really wide hedge uh, because although there are many hedges around. Really wide hedges are very unusual. Um, there's a lot of people, in the, you'll see hedges being planted where they've sort of like done a double staggered row and things like that, where, where the plants are put quite close together, but they're not allowed to grow very big because they're continually flailed. Where, whereas um, a hedge which has overgrown itself, um, can can is gives a completely different habitat, and um, that habitat uh, is something we we lack. So it's kind of scrubland habitat. Um, it's something which we um, which we have very little of in this country. Um, th this is the the field itself. You can see there's a few bits and pieces growing in here which um, is quite encouraging to see. 
Um, there's some grass as well, some groundsel there. Look, so there's uh, there's quite a variety of different things growing just by leaving it, um, which I'm quite encouraged by. Um, if you look across there, you see mallow, sow thistle, uh, various other bits and pieces, which is always good to see. Um, there's uh, one of our wood stacks there, you'll see as well. Um, and I'm coming up this way to show you what we've got at the top of the field because we've got a little bit of planting there um, which which I'm keen to 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 put on the video um, and that's why I'm going up this way you see um, some grass in amongst the volunteer wheat um, and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces yeah mallow and stuff uh, and none of that's planted, of course, that's all come naturally. And here's where they've got the planting up this end of the field. We've got um, a... Uh, that's interesting, it's got a tomato growing in there. All of that, I didn't realise we planted that. This is the uh, green gauge which is planted. You see it's actually got green gauges on it. Um, which is very, very encouraging to see. Um, and we'll, we'll get an idea of um, how it will fruit. So um, that's interesting. And the other thing we've got here is the walnut. Now, I, this walnut was given to us and I d actually don't know who by. Um, but this is uh, planted here in order to um, give it plenty of room. We've got walnuts, as some of you may know, over the other side. Um, but uh, they've not got nearly enough room. Uh, here they will have plenty of room. And uh, we, we hope that will go well. There's, there's lots of the uh, Mayflower. Um, Around here, that's really heavily scent in the air, which is lovely to be here. Um, but that's just a quick, as I say, over the other side, we're doing, doing a hedge, which um, I, I may show you later um, on a separate occasion. But that'll be all for now.